Okay, so I'm gonna try to show you how I hunt for cabbage moth, the things that the white butterflies lay. I'm gonna try to do this on the Nikon, so focus is gonna be tough. Now, I saw one, okay, in here. See how down, what happens is they start on the leaf here, they, they come in and lay a white dot, and then that takes a couple days and it turns into a worm. And it, it wakes up here and starts eating and gets bigger and it works its way down into here. And over time it'll make it up to a new branch. And if you look down in here, you can see little green pellets. That's their poop. And that means you can kind of get an idea how old it is after a while. That looks like it's actually yesterday's, but that means there's something in here could be last night. So that means somewhere on one of these leaves you've got a worm somewhere in here eating its way down. So what I do is I come in and I check along all these leaves and I keep looking for stuff. And you'll, you'll usually get an idea. You'll see something like this. This means that it was eaten recently because although this leaf has been here a while, this is all relatively new stuff in here. So, unfortunately, sometimes you'll have to, like, pull your cabbage back and make sure. And if you look right there, let me try to get the camera on that. Get some light in there. That's really fresh poop. And that's freshly eaten vegetation in there, which means he's in there. He's probably right underneath that leaf right there. But it's really tough to get these leaves apart without breaking them so I am yep there he is uh, where are you guys at I'm in the wrong leaf see him he is just going to town so he would have kept going in there see I had to rip my outer leaf made his way down and you want to try not to leave them in there because then they're going to rot. But I take them out and I just pop them. Or just squeeze them enough. And I toss them off to the side and the wasps will come along. They'll smell that. I think I just heard one. And they'll come along and they'll start looking around in here for these guys. So that's probably all there was in here because that wasn't that much poop. And there's a bunch more poop. I'm going to have to go through this one. I bet you there's more in here. Yeah, I see poop in there. And then what I do is after I clean these out, that's unfortunate that they made it in there. I've been watching these guys good. Um, what I do after, after I get those guys out of there, I get this stuff, I clean that up. Because then I know that the plant's clean, and if I see more of it, that means there's more going on. Of course, once it gets to the cabbage head, it's tough because then it's all inside there. But hopefully that gives you, um, you know, a better idea of what, what you're up against. So I keep this mesh on here. I don't know how well you can see it. And I keep, you know, bricks to hold it down. And I got that, the hoops to hold it away from it. But what I'm finding is anywhere that this mesh touches the leaves, they can come along and I guess get on there well enough that they can, they can land one. And it can be on another plant and they'll work their way over sometimes, I think. And then the other problem is, if you have a plant that you didn't notice had one, and the cat, the egg makes a worm big enough and switches over to a butterfly, now it's inside here. And it'll sit there and tag all your plants all day long. And you'll come out here and all your plants have been tagged. So the mesh is great, but you do have to keep up on it. And there's, it's, it's so much easier and... I still think it's easier than putting chemicals, buying and putting chemicals on here. So, I hope that helped.